السلام علیکم فرینڈز ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل اوپین ای لرننگ لرن انگلش آن لائن ان دس مائی ویڈیو لیکچر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین دا ورلڈس رینڈ پرسنالٹی دا پوائٹ آف نیچر ولیم ورڈس ورتھ ہی واز بورن ان سیونٹین سیونٹی اینڈ ڈائڈ ان ایٹین ففٹی ولیم ورڈس ورتھ William Wordsworth was the greatest poet of the Romantic period. The credit of originating the Romantic movement goes to him. He refused to abide by any poetic convention and rules. He forged his own way in the realm of poetry. He stood against many generations of great poets and critics like Dryden, Pope and Johnson. and made way for a new type of poetry. He declared, A poet is a man endowed with more lively sensibility, more enthusiasm and tenderness, who has a great knowledge of human nature and a more comprehensive soul than are supposed to be common among mankind. About poetry, he further defines, Poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feeling. William Wordsworth wrote a large number and variety of lyrics in which he can stir the deepest emotions by the simplest means. There we find the aptness of phrase and an absolute naturalness which make a poem once read is a familiar friend. The language of Wordsworth poetry can scarcely be at once more simple and more full of feeling. Besides lyrics, Wordsworth wrote a number of sonnets of rare merit like To Milton, Westminster Bridge, The World is Too Much With Us, in which there is a fine combination of dignity of thought and language. In his odes, is owed to duty and owed to the intimations of immortality he gives expression to these high ideals and philosophy of life wordsworth was not merely a lyrical poet he justly claims to be the poet of man of nature and of human life according to him a man should live a simple and natural life Moreover, he discovered that there is an innate harmony between nature and man. It is when man lives in the lap of nature that he lives in the right type of life. According to Wordsworth, man is a part of nature. Wordsworth is famous for his lyrics, sonnets, odes and short descriptive poems. His longer poems contain much that is prosy and uninteresting. The greater part of his work, including the prelude and the excursion, was intended for a place in a single great poem, to be called The Recluse, which should treat of nature, man and society. The prelude treating of the growth of poet's mind was to introduce this work. The Excursion in 1814 is the second book of Recluse and the third was never completed. In his latter years, Wordsworth wrote much poetry which is dull and unimaginative. But there is not a single line in this poetry which has not got the dignity and the high moral value which was associated with Wordsworth who, according to Tennyson, uttered nothing best. It was just simple introduction of the poet, the poet of nature, William Wordsworth. I hope so you must have understood. Subscribe my YouTube channel, Open e-learning. I thank you all.